Okay, so I'm Tin. I'm in somewhere in the middle of the authors. So this is our third edition, and I would say we are really growing, at least in terms of the number of authors. So the first guy here is Steven, is a main person who really worked on this project. And also the last guy, but he just have a new baby, so then I'm trying to present my best instead of them. So for the last couple of years, I would say in the last two years, we are running a medical task, mainly with uh, the, it's very hard for me to pronounce this one, the gastrointestinal tract. So inside the body, we try to understand some, uh, how to improve the care sy the, the system of the, the analyzing, uh, try to detect some abnormal inside your body. So we moved those task into the media eval to uh, ACM multimedia when we, and we call the new one, we call the bio media. So we were presented just last week in ACM multimedia. And this year, so we are running the third edition, but we are running something completely new. So I would say we have the own task, but almost the new one. So everything is new. So what are our new? So first of all, we have new case, completely different things. So we try to run our task on a human re uh, reproduction. So there are some facts here. Every year we have around 45 million couples. They have some problem of uh, facing how to have a baby. And then around 40% of the cases due to some part of the, the male fertility problems. And also, so far, the very common way to analyze those things is they try to understand, they use this, they call, we call the cement analysis, just to understand how healthy or what's happened to your cement, to understand how to cure these things. So for this thing, the traditional approach is we try to apply some visual features, combining with some basic information, for example, the BMI index or some other emotion, some other criteria to understand what happened to the basin and what happened to the semen. So this year we try to make some approach in a very, I would say, a preliminary step in which we try to understand two main metrics. The first one is the motility and the second one is the morphology. So first one is the first problem. We try to understand the morphology of the sperm. Uh, so on the left-hand side, you see the normal sperm. When the right-hand side, you see, let's say, three main cases of the abnormal for the sperm. For example, we have some problem with the head. The head is an abnormal two heads, or it's not really a proper head, let's say. And then we had a problem in the middle. For example, the neck is not really straight. Or we have two tails, so we have three cases where we try to identify what is the problem of the sperm. And in the second case, we try to understand the motility of the sperm. So how is it moving? It's moving straight forward, very aggressive or non-aggressive, or it's just try to doesn't move at all, just stay there. Let's see some examples. So this is the example of non-aggressive. You can see here, it's not it's moving, but not really in a very, you know, straightforward way. And this is the aggressive sperm. You can see, you can track them. They go moving very fast, very quickly from the top and just pumped there. That's the rubber one. And something doesn't move at all. For example, this one, you can see there. Just running around there and a kind of stuck there. So based on those things, we tried to propose three different tasks, but actually, the last one is just for experiment, and none of them are really go on with that time. So we had the first one is try to understand, okay, motility of the sperm is progressive or non-progressive or immoti. Second case, simple questions, ask what type of abnormal you can detect from the semen. Is it head problem? Is the tail problem or is it a normal one? Uh, for the collection, let us say we collect 85 uh, videos from different people, from their semen, and they, we try to apply the same standard to analyze this thing. 
beside with the video, we also have a track record of the basin where we give them such a age or BMI index just to understand more. And, we, and within the three tasks, we want we really hope we can try to combine those information all together. In terms of the team, so again, we are running the third edition, but indeed, this is a really new one. So we have eight registered teams, but in the end, we just have three teams submitted the result because also it's a very new one and quite challenging. Uh, overall, we have, I would say, still very promising, but the number of teams are reducing compared to, comparing to last year. But again, last year we ran the second edition for the medical task. This year, although the third one, but we run a completely new problem. So I think that's still very promising. And just for the first two problems I, I show you, for the last one, they are, we don't have any team that really able to combine within a few months of th the task from the video and with the patient information. In terms of the methodologies, I would say the team submitted different approaches, but more or less deep learning is again, in this case, it really the no dominate one, it's very common this day. For evaluation, we use very standard metrics. So we use the standard mean absolute errors, and then we try to compare with the zero R measures. Just very simple, try how good we are comparing to the top dominant one. So here are the results. As you can see, the team are not that different. But all of the team, they are s somehow better than the baseline. And yeah, quite almost very similar. So for conclusions, first good one, on the team beat the zero R baseline. Second one, we still don't have any team using the, the basin information. And then very common, deep learning is really dominant anything on this kind of problem. And then we still have potential of applying this thing. Future task, we are about to run this one because it's really new and it's really interesting and we really want to run it again and we hope we have more data, more participants, more new results, better results. And then we really want to have a way of understanding how do we combine more information with only the video one because it's really useful and we didn't really succeed this year. And we would love to have somehow real-time tracking for the semen. So that is from the overview of the task. Some advertising. In the middle time, if you want something, we have ImageLave and we have ICMR. So we have somehow similar task to medieval. In the meantime, if you're just waiting for the next editions, please. Thank you.